sin. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Stevenson. I'm here today to talk to you about the Yamaha EAD10. Even though it's still a brand new product, there's tons of videos online showing you how you can use the EAD. So I'm not gonna waste your time with that today. I'm gonna show you how you can push the limits even further. So apart from having the EAD unit already on your bass drum, you also have three extra trigger inputs. One of those inputs is a dual zone trigger input and you have two single zone trigger inputs. So what I did with my video today is I took a step even further and I expanded all the triggering possibilities. So step one, the bass drum trigger input is stereo. So I split that in two. On one side, it's direct to the EAD module. And on the right side, it's going to the KP100 bass drum trigger pad. Step two, I took the snare trigger input, which is a dual zone, and I split that in two. And that permits me to trigger both of my snares on my left hand side. Step three, take my first single zone trigger input and I put that on my floor tom. And step four, I took my last single zone trigger input and used it for the XP80 trigger pad just above my floor tom. You guys may have noticed a foot switch I was using to my left. That was the FC5 from Yamaha. I set the module to when I use that foot switch, it toggles between two different scenes. That being said, scene one was a full out acoustic. The EAD10 is doing its magic and picking up the full kit. Scene two has the same presets as scene one but this time all the triggers are activated so my both snares, including my floor tom as well, now have brand new sound. This module is so powerful, I took the easy way out using the foot switch because I could have taken an expression pedal, the FC7, and used zero to 100% wet dry effect. I could have taken my foot switch and just use it to go up and down in scenes instead of toggling between scenes. And I also could have used it to just put an on off bypass on any effect you would apply on the kit. Another detail that makes your life so much easier is you can record directly onto this module. There's an internal memory, you can use a USB to get even more memory, or you can plug this to the Yamaha app that goes with it and record directly onto your phone. You may have noticed when the video started, I was using my cell phone to film myself 
and also capture the recording directly onto this app of all the sounds coming directly from the EAD10 module. I quickly mentioned using a USB stick for extra memory, but you can also use that same USB stick to import sounds into the module. There's tons of sounds already in there, but the sky's the limit to all that you can import to create your own custom kits. Once again, my name is Ryan Stevenson. Thank you to Yamaha Drums, and thank you to you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. How low did the camera go? Do you see when I do peace down here? Yeah. Okay. I think we're good.